and it is for Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson because that's definitely the book of his that everyone is talking about right now. <laughs> um, yes, yes. So uh, for those who don't know, Brandon Sanderson just released his latest entry in his epic series that I have nowhere near started yet because it's gigantic and scary. Um, but that's not the book I read. <laughs> I read Warbreaker. Uh, this one is about two sisters. Uh, they are princesses and uh, one is has been raised to be the perfect princess. Uh, she is devout in her religion. She is very proper, very trained in etiquette and politics. And she, she was just brought up to be essentially the perfect heir, or in this case, the perfect bride for an opposing kingdom. Um, essentially, there was a treaty that was signed 20 years before the book takes place, where she would be required to marry the king of the opposing kingdom. Uh, the second sister is the youngest sister, and because the oldest sister is the one who is going to be sent off, there's also a middle sister who is kind of trained up to take her place if necessary, and then there's the youngest sister who was kind of redundant, and so she was not trained in politics. Um, well, they tried to train her in politics, but she kind of just would run off with her horse or run out in the fields. Very carefree, very youthful and rebellious. Um, and she kind of got away with it because she was the youngest and it didn't matter that much in the end anyways. Um, so at the last minute, the king decides that this very proper, well-raised princess is the one that he doesn't want to part with. And so instead of sending her to marry the king of the opposing kingdom, he sends the youngest, who has had no training and has no idea what to do in this situation. Um, so she gets sent off to marry this king called the Gog King. And after that happens, the older sister is, uh, finds that she's not happy about this, not happy that she gets to stay home and be safe, um, and be the redundant one. <laughs> and on top of that, she worries for her sister. So she goes after her to kind of try to save her. Um, and through this, they both learn that they know nothing. <laughs> and, uh, it's a very, uh, fun experience. Uh, so yeah, that is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. Um, all right. So point number one, the plot. Uh, so the plot, in my opinion, was a bit underwhelming. There were a lot of tropes in it and a lot of, I don't, I don't even really know how to go about it. I think it was, um, it was more the climax and ending that I found underwhelming than anything else throughout the rest of it. I enjoyed it well enough, but it wasn't the reason why I kept reading, um, at any point in the book. It was fine. I, I didn't dislike the plot, but like I said, I kind of found it underwhelming. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to call the plot a win for this one for sure. Um, next up is the world building. The world building is something that Brandon Sanderson does very well. Um, this, this book only really covered two kingdoms in this world. And it makes me very much look forward to this series continuing because 
my biggest complaint with this is that there wasn't an there wasn't enough time to world build. It's not that there wasn't enough world building because I think that the two kingdoms that were introduced and that we were around were generally fleshed out pretty well. Um, although we didn't get to know the political climates and stuff as much as I would have liked to, I think that was more a failing of the plot than the world building. I feel like it, like it was there. It was teasing me. I wanted <laughs> that there. Like I wanted to know more about it. But I think that that, if anything, is more of a strength to the world building because it made it clear that there was more going on outside of the story. And that's something I always look for in my world building. Um, I don't like it whenever the world is like a tunnel for the story. Um, and so with, with this book, it was very clear that it was a very well fleshed out and realized world. The magic system is very interesting. Uh, and... I'm not going to get too much into it just because I try to keep anything that might potentially be a spoiler out. Um, but it basically involves colors and expelling breath. And breath is kind of like your soul. <laughs> um, but you can live without it. So... I look forward to seeing more about what breath actually is in the future and uh, as well as more in the magic system. I really enjoyed it. Um, all right. And then uh, last but not least is the characters. And the characters, in my opinion, were probably the biggest strength of this. Um, while the character arcs were not necessarily anything new, I think that they were very well executed. Um, the, I'll go, I guess I'll talk specifically about the princesses. They had very different arcs because one was this rebellious princess and she was kind of told her whole life, you know, oh, why can't you be like this other princess? And, um, and then whenever she goes to this new location, she finds that not everyone sees things the way that her kingdom sees things and she kind of learns more about that um her name was siri i i feel like her arc had a lot more potential than was fulfilled and i hope that as the series continues uh we get to see her grow more um for part of the book she's she's just like a little spoiled brat but I think that she, through her plot, she gets the opportunity to sort of show her kindness. Um, and then the other sister, her name is, oh gosh, Vivina. I think that's her name. I hope that's her name. Um, and she is almost, uh, it's something where she was such a proper princess and so good where she's from. And that even though she is meant to be demure and humble and not arrogant or proud when she goes to this other this other kingdom she very much looks down her nose at, at everyone um and it's sort of her wake up call um and i really enjoy reading her arc um i didn't like I didn't like her as much as I liked Siri, but I liked her arc a lot more. Um, and then there are several side characters that get very well fleshed out. They have, I really enjoyed all of the side character arcs. Um, without spoiling too much, it has one of my favorite tropes, which is grumpy old man semi adopts younger female because he has to. <laughs> and that's, that's just one of my favorite tropes. I love Wolverine. I love um, anything like that where grumpy old man has to essentially adopt a younger girl. <laughs> and uh, so that I, I really enjoyed that trope. 
And that is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. I really enjoyed this book. Uh, it's not my favorite by him. I can say that, but that doesn't mean a whole lot because I think he's an amazing author. So even the worst by him is better than the best of some. And uh, I hope that this review was helpful to you and I will see you around. Thank you.